North Branch mom and dad are beyond grateful today that they took a chance, a chance that, as you were about to see, saved their precious baby girl's life. This North Branch home has some decor the family could have never imagined. These ribbons represent childhood cancer awareness, and now that symbol represents them. The same way I, lo I love to see pink ribbons, I would also like to see orange ribbons. And, I mean, yes, you heard about childhood cancer, but once you become part of that world, it's like you don't realize how often a child gets diagnosed. But their sweet little Ellie was diagnosed last winter at just four months old after a never ending cold and a bruise on her face that just kept growing. See, and I was like, OK, we got to take her in because, you know, I don't think this is like there, there has to be something else wrong with her. Do you feel like that mother's instinct just knew? Yeah, yeah. The local hospital sent them to M Health Fairview Masonic Children's. Their baby was in critical condition and her diagnosis, shocking. I cried. It's the first thing I did, I just started crying. But then in a weird way, I kind of felt calm because I was like, okay, if, if it's cancer that she has, we're gonna get through this as a family. Cause I know we were very united, very yeah, spiritual. So one, when you heard your baby had cancer. I was crushed. Cause at the time, yeah, we know childhood cancer, but you don't know it fully until it's, I guess I could say I wasn't aware of it to the, to the extent. So when I heard cancer, I just thought the worst. It was a condition that is surprising. There are only about 90 cases a year, like Ellie's in the U.S. There's so many complicating factors when children are diagnosed that young and there's such high risk for toxicity, for infection, for complications. Ellie's doctor recommended chemotherapy, risky, especially at her size. But then word came of a more targeted therapy. There was some newer data published that showed that adding a certain type of um, immunotherapy called blinitumumab to the standard treatment improved outcomes fairly dramatically. And even though Ellie was already started in the treatment regimen that we had chosen, it, it felt like we couldn't not try this for her. She wanted to try a different approach. Yeah. That had not been done that many times. So what was your reaction? I was um, all for it. As soon as she told me about it, I know he I had was my, hesitant. I had my hesitant about it. But they decided to go all in on what would be an arduous journey. Because of her immune system, Ellie was in the hospital for nine months. She toted a backpack with $40,000 worth of medicine as she was learning to walk. Her agility paid off. It worked. Do you ever have those moments when you look at her now and you're like, wow. Yeah, I, I do. I just had it last night. Yeah. She was running around laughing and playing and I was like, oh. it's like a weight. A weight that is lifted along with their spirits. <laughs> As Ellie, who's almost two, is exceeding expectations. <laughs> she's doing everything she should be and more and she's got Know, siblings at home that she's trying to keep up with and she's all over the place when she's in clinic so it's great and grateful they are we're lucky that she's still around yeah <laughs> ellie is already a conqueror yeah. and she's only just Smile. begun yeah yeah <laughs> it's a doggy dancing <laughs> Well, as you probably guessed, Ellie is hitting all of her milestones. She's still taking oral chemo and she goes to Masonic once a month. Her parents say no one is more excited to have her home than her 10 and 12 year old sisters.